Our worksheet today will review for us your video lesson on buffered problems. We'll begin together working several samples and then ask you to entertain lesson number two from your notepad assignment page. Let's begin by having our practice buffer problems in front of us. We'll need a calculator and our Appendix D as the tools that we'll use to calculate buffered systems. Appendix D will help us find the Ka values to use in the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. The buffered solutions find a pH by knowing the pKa of our system plus the log of the ratio of the base over acid. Henderson-Hasselbalch is the equation of use to find pH of buffered solutions. And in our video notes, we went through the development of Henderson-Hasselbalch really is just a manipulation of a Ka expression of products over reactants. The conjugate base over its acid from the buffered solutions goes in the parentheses. Let's model with practice one. To calculate the pH of a buffer solution that's 0.12 molar in lactic acid and 0.11 molar in sodium lactate. The acid value, 0.12 molar, would be placed on the bottom and the conjugate base, the lactate ion, gets placed on the top. So we need to calculate pH. Using the appendix D, I start by finding lactic acid Ka value 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. We need to take the negative log of the pKa, negative log of Ka to turn it into pKa, and we'll add that to the log of the ratio of the base 0.11 molar lactate over its conjugate acid, 0.12 molar lactic acid. So on our calculator, we will need to hit out negative log of the Ka value we found, 1.4 E negative 4, plus the log of the ratio of 0.11 divided by 0.12 gives us a pH reading of 3.82 pH units. This number makes sense that lactic acid has a range in pH of about 3.82, the acid range on our scale. So a straightforward calculation given the concentration of an acid and its conjugate base coming from the salt sodium lactate, we just plug it into the Henderson-Hasselbalch and pull out pH. Number two, let's calculate the pH of a buffer formed by mixing 85 mils of a 0.13 molar lactic acid with 95 mils of 0.15 molar sodium lactate. This problem involves a little bit more work in the sense that we're adding volumes. The concentration of 0.13 molar lactic acid and 95 mils of the 0.15 molar sodium lactate create a new total volume. So let's take a look at lactic acid and using our dilution problem, N1V1 equal M2V2, we need to solve for the new molarity once we have diluted those two solutions. So if we started with 0.13 molar and 85 mils of the acid, what would the new concentration be once we've added the volumes together? So 85 plus the 95 give us a new total volume of 180 mils. Hitting for the concentration of the lactic acid after it's been diluted. 0.13 times 85 divided by 180 gives us a concentration of 0 0.0614. We'll need to do the same strategy for the conjugate base coming from sodium lactate. And again, sodium lactate giving us the source of the conjugate base, the lactate ion. Its original volume of 95 mils times the original molarity of 0.15 set equal to M2V2 where the new volume now is the added value of 180 mils. So let's hit for the new molarity, 95 times 0.15 divided by 180 gives us a value 
a 0 0.079 molar of the conjugate base. So we're ready to plug into Henderson Hasselbeck. We just had to do some dilution formulas first. We are looking for pH, and we need the pKa, which we looked up for problem one, 1 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth units, plus the log of the ratio of base over acid. The sodium lactate is the source of our base, 0 0.079 molar. The source of the acid, 0 0.0614 molar. And now we'll hit and find pH using Henderson Hasselbeck. So negative log of our Ka, 1.4 E negative 4, plus the log of the ratio, 0 0.079, divided by 0 0.064. And our pH for this solution, solution is buffered to be 3.95 pH units.